In today's video, I want to introduce an amazing indicator on TradingView that's specifically designed for scalping and day trading. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search LNL Trend System. This one, which is written by LNL Capital. All right, this is the indicator, and as you can see, it's overlaid on the price chart. This indicator is built based on a special calculation of ATR that is derived by combining 13 EMA in relation to the ATR. In this indicator, we have different components that I explain them now. First of all, we have this line, which is our trend line. It's an exponential moving average with length of 13, but not an ordinary moving average line, and its color can change based on the current trend, which is identified by multiple moving averages. When it's green, it tells us that the current structure is bullish, and when it's red, it tells us that the current structure is bearish, and when it's gray, it tells us that the current structure is neutral or flat market. The next component is these small green green and red lines that are placed above and below the price. They are called stop line and they are actually ATR deviation line which are made by a special calculation of ATR in relation to current and previous values of 13 EMA. In a similar sense to ATR or super trend which is built based on ATR, they provide support and resistance levels which can be used for trailing stop or also entering a position when they are touched or broken depending on the trading strategy. When they are green and below the price, they show that the current structure of the market is bullish and when they are red and above the price they show that the current structure of the market is bearish the next component of this indicator is the color of candlesticks which is on by default in the settings these color changing of the candlesticks is based on dmi and adx indicators if adx is below 20 the candles become gray showing no trend in the market and when adx is above 20 depending on dmi the candles become green showing advancing of the price or red showing declining of the price. There is another component for this indicator which is higher time frame cloud that you can turn it on here in the settings and it's very useful for identifying longer term trend of the market. When it's green the longer term trend is up and when it's red the longer term trend is down. All right now let's see how these different components are used together for entering a trade. First let me talk about flat market. As I mentioned earlier when the trend line becomes gray it shows flat market and also having candles in gray color indicates that there is no trend in the market. Another signal for flat market is when the stop lines mirror each other. In other words, we have the lines above and below the price at the same time. Whenever we have this situation, this also shows flat market. These signs of flat market or breaking of the stop lines can be used for entering a trade in the direction of the longer term trend, which I'll explain later. All right, now let's talk about the trending phase of the indicator. When we have confluence between different components of the indicator for example when the candle is green the trend line is green and the stop line is green and also the higher time frame cloud is green it shows that the price is strongly advancing and on the other hand when the candle is red the trend line is red the stop line is red and the higher time frame cloud is also red it shows that the price is strongly declining all right now by the help of flat market signal or breaking of the stop lines in conjunction with bullish and bearish confluence of different components of this indicator we are able to enter a trade in the direction of the longer term trend of the market. When the higher time frame cloud is green, when we get flat market signal, then we wait for these three components of the indicator to turn green. When the candle is green, the trend line is green, and the stop line is green, we can enter a long position. Here in this case, the flat market didn't turn to breaking of the stop lines. But here you can see that first we got flat market signal starting from here, and then we lost the green lines, and we had red lines above the price. This shows that in short term perspective, the price is going for downtrend. But as long as we are above this cloud, we are still in uptrend. This situation happens when we have deeper and extended pullback. All right, when we have green lines below the price and then we have green trend line and green candle, that's the point we can conclude that the pullback ended and we can enter a long position. Please pay attention that in times that the price enters into the cloud, I mean this higher time frame cloud, it shows flat more market in longer term perspective and you should do nothing until the price moves away from the price and the trend is established. Similarly when the cloud is red which shows the longer term trend is down, when we have flat market or break of the stop lines and changing of the color to the opposite, we wait to see if it turns back to red or not. When the stop lines are red and at the same time the trend line is red and the candle is also red, we can enter a short position. This indicator is a very powerful indicator 
indicator that is specifically designed for scalping and day trading. It's very helpful in finding the current direction of the market and you can effectively use it in your trading strategy in conjunction with other trading view indicators by sell signals. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.